Hi, happy Thursday. Hope you're all right. You've had a nice day. I'm not under my face, so I've put a bit of slap on. Although I do think it's a little bit heavy handed for work. A bit heavy on the old. I feel a bit of a cake face, to be honest, so it's probably going to come off. But yeah, I've not long got up, actually, from last night's shadow shift that I was telling you about. So yeah, I went in brilliant, honestly, apart from the shifts. All right, needing to go to the toilet because these coffee sachets. All right, as soon as I add it, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I am working with Anna Louisa again in this video. I'm so excited, honestly, to show you these bits and tell you a bit more about Anna Louisa. So I've worked with Anna Louisa before in the past. If you have been here a while, you probably would have seen, um, you know, some of the pieces that I've shown you before. And basically they're a jewelry brand. Just if you don't know who Anna Louisa are, they have the most gorgeous, gorgeous jewelry. They're a carbon neutral brand, sustainable brand. Honestly, they have the most beautiful little pieces. They've got everything on there from rings, necklaces, earrings. And if I'm being honest with y'all, all right, this piece here, okay, I've had this one ages, well over a year, is my most complimented piece. Honestly, everybody always asks me where this is from. And it's from Anna Luisa. So this is the Malachite necklace. And it's a little, tiny little, um, you see, like the bit of green. It's my favorite. I wear this one more than anything. Okay, this, yeah, I love this. It's so dainty and pretty, all right? And my next favourite, favourite piece, so they're always on my little dish on my bedside table, all right? These ones are the Celeste earrings, all right? And they're tiny little huggy earrings, okay? They literally just hug your ears. That's why they're called huggy earrings, because they're so tiny, but they're beautiful. They're just, like, so classy looking. And I can't wait to get my ears pierced again, because I'm going to have, like, these ones in, and then these smaller ones kind of, like, going up. But yeah, these are the Celeste earrings and it's a little moon and star. If my camera focuses, come on. There we go. If you can see, it's a little moon and star and they are just stunning. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. This is an Ana Luisa ring as well. This is um, a rope ring. Let me show you. I mix gold and silver jewellery up together. But this is um it's like a little rope ring this is another favorite piece of mine as well so this one that's why they're in this little pot on my bedside table i have got a jewelry box i took this one on holiday and it really complimented um what i was wearing and it just looks so pretty you know and you can layer them as well so i love layering i love layering jewelry because this one's slightly longer so yeah these pieces of jewelry do not send me green honestly because sometimes you can have you know like where jewellery's been? You have like a green mark, but this is like completely tarnished free. So the jewellery doesn't mark itself and it doesn't leave any marks on you, which is brilliant. It's like really quality tested, you know? Like I said, these really gorgeous rope style earrings as well. But yeah, this is my favourite piece. I've had this for so long and I wear it a lot. They're just really like lasting. You know, they're quite solid little bits of jewellery, you know? And they just last. And they're just so classy looking. So yeah, I get so many compliments on this. It just kind of like glimmers in the light. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, it's really nice. So yeah, they kindly sent me out um, a new pair of earrings and a necklace. They come in these gorgeous little reusable pouches, which say Anna Luisa as well. But they've also kindly sent me over my initial as well. I'm covered in air, if you can see airs on me. <laughs> I'm bloody molting. But yeah, it's just a little F. So I can't wait to wear that. And like I said, layer it again. So I might like layer the long necklace, um, make this one a little bit shorter and then have this Malachite necklace. So yeah, just beautiful, really long lasting jewellery. So I will link them below if you do want to have a little look, um, you know, see what they've got to offer. Like I always say though, only if you want to, but I'll pop them below. Anyway, I'm going to show you how we got here. So if you want to carry on watching. Do you know what, I've just straightened my hair. Not very well. What's that? I don't know what that is. Just straightened it terribly. I washed it. <laughs> so it looks a right mess. I'll tell you what, I do want some extensions. Stop it, Faye. I'm very tempted. If I just tie it up a bit like that while I do my face, that'll do. Sod it. Yeah, do you know what it is? I go through stages and I'm like, I love short hair, like, not short hair, but it's kind of up to here, isn't it, my hair? 
and I'm like I love it and it's so manageable and then I just have moments where I'm like I don't like it and I want something a bit fuller you know and I'm like shall I get my extensions put back in I just don't know I just don't know so yeah I need to tweeze my brows as well at some point they're a right shit show but yeah I just feel like for me personally I like it when I've got my hair extensions in but then I love it when I'm not so I don't know I'm gonna do my brows that is what I'm gonna do so I'm just using I am gonna test out this from Zara but a lot of people did say they reckon it is too dark I think you're right but it was also recommended as well thank you very much um, about the lightning drops which has been said before actually but I never think to do that I never think to go and get because you can get lightning and darkening drops can't you I, I just I never think it's like when I'm down here I think about the Vaseline after you know and it's all get down here so but yeah this is what I got from TK Maxx this is the Zara Limitless Soft Matte Foundation sorry my phone's going off um, in the shade W923 but it does look a little bit dark so we'll have a look in a minute anyway I'm using a really tiny mirror that I can't bloody see my head in because my head's massive. Start with my brows, which, like I said, are terrible. They are. They're so crazy at the minute. Like, I like it when it's all neat here, and I just haven't done it for ages. This pencil's getting a bit rough now. You have to, like, warm it up on your hand a bit. The other one's not like this. They're exactly the same, but... It's kind of like potluck, which when you pull out the bag. <laughs> so it's one of them things that I've not done for a while. Keep meaning to pluck my brows. So are they are they matching? Well, they're not now. I've just added a bloody inch on that. This is what happens. You get a bit carried look, and then you keep adding, and then you look alright, twat. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. So yeah, I um, did my night shift last night, my shadow shift. So I've not long woke up actually. I am ready, ready and raring for the next day, a new day. So yeah, I've got work tonight, I've done my shadow shift. So yeah, it was really good actually. I really enjoyed it. So hopefully tonight's like that as well. But yeah, it was nice, nice shift. So... Yeah, I've had about about seven hours sleep, to be honest, which is not bad going for me. I don't usually have that much sleep. It's usually about, honestly, about four hours, four or five hours, if that, if that, because do you know why? My bladder wakes me up, honestly. I try to come home and not have a drink if I do night shifts, um, which is obviously what I've done for a while. I'm going to be doing night shifts for the foreseeable. So, yeah, even though I got used to my day, my day shifts, but you know but yeah i try not to um come home and have a drink now because i just wake up but then i wake up anyway i wake up anyway at 12 it's usually 12 o'clock that's like the golden time to wake up for a piss which is so annoying honestly because if i didn't need that piss i'd sleep through but i do need the piss so yeah i try to not have a drink when i come home but i should really stop it at work a little bit earlier but I need coffee at work. Partly out of boredom, partly because I think it keeps me going. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna pop a little bit of eyeshadow on, but that's burped. Nothing in particular. I'm kind of just gonna use what's on the brush. Just do you know what I mean? Just have a good if you press hard enough, you'll get a bit of pigment. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> obviously I've got work again later. I'm not like gonna full on go for it full glam for a night shift you know what I mean so whatever's on here if I can just like put a bit of pressure on to get it off you know you can see can't can you is there a bit just dip it in my bronzer actually there you go that's better so I tell you what we are going in a couple of days which I'm really excited for to Halloween horror event. We'll go into this. Oh, should I try this brow gel? This was for like lighter brows and I've got quite dark brows and mine have partly drew on. But this is a little brow brush look. So hopefully, I mean, I don't know what it's gonna do, but we'll stick it on, look. 
Hey, eh? this was 150. This. So if I just stick it on, it makes you feel like you <laughs> not wasted your money. So. Yeah, we're going to this Halloween event, so it's like loads of horror houses. I've told you about them before, and it's wicked. You go in, and they've got like, um, one of them's a zombie one. So basically, um, you like if you're into this kind of thing, so you, you go through um, into this like zombie house, and obviously they're scare actors, and you get chased, and it's all dark and stuff, and it's very scary, but I love it. Like, I love that kind of... Do you know what I mean? It's a real experience, you know, it's all good fun. It's all good fun. So, yeah, if you're not into um, that kind of thing, I mean, it does, it is quite scary actually, because it's, you know, in the dark. This is my new mascara, by the way. This is the Maybelline Lift Volume Express, but it ain't pissing lifting out, to be honest. But yeah, I went to one in Melton Mowbray. I've been to that one twice now. Brilliant. Honestly, it's brilliant. And that one though halfway through one of the houses they put like a bag over your head sort of like a potato sack one of them and you hold on to like this uh like banister type thing so you know where you go in it well it's a rope you hold on to it but then you go from hard floor to um, to get words out girl sorry i'm getting excited to tell you to a mattress so you think you're walking on hard floor and then that that feeling of like going onto a mattress is so soft it really throws you off because you can't see so yeah you're then walking on a mattress for a bit and people are like grabbing you and stuff you know <laughs> it's, it is fun it's a fun night out they're always packed out you know and when i've mentioned that before quite a few people have been it is a good night you know we're not going to that one this year though have all like your food stalls out and You've got like live bands and stuff and the scare actors walking around. It is a good night out, you know. Yeah, I've not been to that one for a couple of years actually. It was brilliant, brilliant one. Bit of a drive. It weren't too much of a bad drive actually from what I can remember. One thing that threw me off though was on the dual carriageway on the way back. And there was like a right turning on the dual carriageway. It was like a right turning. So I ignored what the sat nav said and I just carried on straight up the dual carriageway. And it redirected me but I didn't fancy a... Uh, Turning right on the dual carriageway, I, you probably could have. Quite often I ignore the sat nav if I need it. I think, fuck yeah, I'll do my own thing. It redirects me, kind of the route I want to go. So if Steve's put it on, he'll say, why have I bothered? Why have I, bo <laughs> why have I bothered putting it on? You're not even following it. And I'm like, I will, I just need it to like redirect me. You know, so I know this bit, you know. So this is um, my foundation. Like I've just been going on about for about, three hours about the shade so yeah it, hmm. I'll start with a tiny bit look it yeah it's quite dark and I think obviously look you see excuse, I really need to burp I'm really sorry Steve's made me um for lunch when I woke up we had a peppered steak but it was um a corn one corn peppered steak with cucumber, avocado, um, what else was there, tomato, pepper, did I say pepper, I don't know. And the low calorie cheese slices on top with some mushrooms, honestly it was so good. It was really, really nice. So yeah, I've kind of like smashed me five a day in one hit. And then I'll take like some grapes and stuff to work tonight. I love grapes. So yeah, can you see it's quite, quite a few people said that is very dark. <laughs> it is. I have got another foundation which I can kind of mix in, I think, which should work. So this is a, oh God, yeah, can you see the difference? I don't want to be too cake face though. That's the thing. Do you know what I mean? I'll probably end up taking it off. But if I mix it in, that's a bit better. But it's too much. I feel like I've got too much on now. But I'll mix that in. But yeah, I'm really excited because, um, yeah, this event that we're going to. So I can't wait, honestly. It'd be nice, it's gonna be like a date night. So, yeah, I'm excited. I don't know. You definitely need to add a different, different shade to it, but Oh, trust the process, all right. Trust the process, because I don't like. 
<laughs> like a right twat right now. But yeah, trust the process. Oh shit. I've done my mascara already, and I? Some people said before, like, why have you done your brows first? I just, personally for me, I've always done that. And I can't um, do them over foundation. Just, you know, like if you slap a wee foundation, I just can't do it. It don't go on very well for me anyway after. So, oh, it's going to take ages, isn't it? Get this blended out. I've got where them spots. I've got a couple of spots on my chest. Wow, I've got enough foundation to go around. Fuck you now. What that was then? It's a makeup advert on YouTube. Sucking a straw. Hey, we went to see Saw. This was a couple of weeks ago now. We had a date day while the kids were at school, and we went to see Saw. I had to look away. I love horror films and stuff, but Saw is the one for me. Because like with ghost films and stuff, you kind of find them a bit. They're scary, but a bit silly. But do you know when it's like? I don't know. There's just something about Saw. It just really scares me a bit. So I, yeah, I was looking away. It was really. It was intense. We were the only ones in there watching it because it was a daytime film, I reckon. So yeah, we're good though. That, you know, while the kids are at school, you know, go see it. So then we were supposed to go and see uh, The Exorcist, the new one. Steve hasn't even seen the original Exorcist yet. So he won't watch the bloody Green Mile because it's three hours. I keep saying to him, come on, let's watch the Green Mile all man. And he was saying, yeah, yeah, we will. And then when it comes to it, it's like, oh, it's three hours long, babe. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> but I'm like, but books say you'll really enjoy it. You know when you know somebody will enjoy a film, like a really well-directed film, like a well-directed film. It was, yeah, fucking hell. <sighs> you know what I mean. Like, just a good film, Faye, that had to do Just a good film. I feel this ain't working, to be honest. I don't know what I've done here. I'm a bit too... The ring light ain't helping I feel a bit heavy on the old pour stone on in fucking foundation, do you know what I mean? I'm going to be here till nine o'clock tonight, blending it out. Nowhere else for it to go, do you know what I mean? I think close up, I look a bit more yellow than I do backwards. Do you know what I mean, if I go further back? So... I'm going to have to sort something out with this do. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I look like a ride to that. Okay, do you know what? I'm just going to go for it with everything else and see if it works out. If not, I'll have to take it all off, won't I? And do something. But if I just try and lighten it up a bit, like y'all. That's it. If I stick all this on. Okay, there we go. Blend it all out, look. Feel very heavy. I don't think I can go to work with this on, actually, to be honest. So I don't know, really. How does it look to you? I'm going in full-on comp mode, didn't I? Oh no, it's Halloween makeup. <laughs> oh, God. Tyler and Mason this year. Uh, Tyler was like, I'm not going trick-or-treating. Don't fancy it this year. I'm too old for that. I was like, fair enough, mate, you know. I understand. You know, respect that, whatever. You do whatever you want to do, mate. And then, closer to the time, he's like, actually, do you know what, Mum? I think I will come. What can I go as? <laughs> so, he's going as Joker now. And, sorry, I can't find me. That's it. A little blender. And Mason is going as a vampire. So, yeah, I got, got the Joker outfit. I don't know why I do this. I bring my finger back. Got a um, Joker outfit and I just need some white face paint for Mason. Fangs, blood, you know, that kind of thing. So. I don't know what I've done with my brows. Sisters, not twins, eh? I'll tell you what, though. Right, you know I don't drink them sachets anymore. Well, we've got some new ones in. So, there's a lady at work, bless her, she wanted some sachets and she'd ran out. So I picked her box up 
and a pick Steve a box up as well. Well, anyway, I took two of them to work because I'd run out of my normal coffee. So I thought, right, I'll take two of them to work, you know. Well, I'm shadowing, and I? Get me the shits. I'm not even joking last night. I was sitting having a conversation and my belly's just really loud and in your face, honestly. Not hungry or wrote, bloated, to be honest. Time of the month, bloated, you know. And oh, I just, I thought I'm going to shit myself. We're having a conversation. You know, she's telling me about these animals and stuff that she's um, looking after at the minute. And I thought, I'm going to shit myself. Like, I really want to talk to you, but I'm oh, honestly, I'm going to shit myself. And I just felt awful. And I said, oh, I'll be back in a minute. Ten minutes later, they know. <laughs> but honestly, got on the toilet and I was like, shut up to my belly because it was really fucking loud honestly so i kept moving all like this while talking to her not obviously so she didn't you know think what you're doing do you know what i mean but it it was i was desperate really i was desperate so yeah i think i've just ignored i've spat everywhere i've just ignored the um shade at the minute and i'm just kind of doing what i normally do and seeing if it looks the same at the end so but yeah, this is definitely, I think it's body shop. Do people say you get the lightning drops from body shop? I, you probably get them from anywhere to be honest, but I know the body shop did some. We are going Nottingham. We decided on Nottingham. I was gonna go Meadow Wall, but everyone said Meadow L. That's what you all call it. So yeah, I thought, and it's really, I don't like being under one roof, you know, probably got some banging shops. And I bet if you have a look for a sale in these shops, you know, you could probably find, all the sales but yeah I thought Nottingham so oh no I weren't looking was I oh shit fucking where's all gummage <laughs> I feel like a twat oh, if I had some blush balance it out a bit I think what you do in this situation is you get your, your thing. Oh shit. You dab it out, you see. Dab it out. Dab it out. Okay, so there you go. Dab it out. That's it. You're a bit heavy handed. I'm heavy handed. I got told as well or heavy footed. On my driving lessons, I used to go. Sorry, I've got air to clear my nose. I used to go, uh, you're a bit heavy on the clutch. A bit heavy on the accelerator. <laughs> oh, didn't realise, really. I was just, do you know what I mean? Zooming off, like. <laughs> All right, take me air out. I look dirty, don't I? I look like I need a wash. I need to pick a lipstick. I didn't know this was Gwen Stefani. That was a bargain, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a bargain. Oh, somebody asked what shade this was and I did Google it. I was at work and somebody had asked uh, what the shade was and I Googled the body shop and this, I thought this was the right one. So I think I said, well, I'll remember. I can't remember, but I remember if I see this. Windsor Rose, yeah, that's what it is. Windsor Rose, the body shop, Two, yeah, 2 in um, TK Maxx. Windsor Rose, I thought that's gotta be it. It looks exactly the same. So I said, I think it's Windsor Rose. So yeah, it is Windsor Rose. So I might do that one actually. Maybe. Let's have a look. Oh, and Dubs has come on. What's this one? Ouch. Actually, that's a bit too light for this, isn't it? Do you think? I need a liner or it's all gone wrong. It's all gone to shit today, all right? So this will be coming off. I feel a bit mucky, to be honest. Right, I'm gonna go for this. This is the Max Factor Lipfinity Velvet Matte. Satin Berry, this one is. So it is a bit, it is a bit berry-like. Why are it too dark? Oh no. Maybe just a little bit. Oh look. Ah, uh, it's gonna be off before work, I tell ya. Hang on. <laughs> I 
I don't think it's bad, but I think it's bad. Do you know what I mean? It's not something you'd the working, is it? Right, I've made a right shit show of this, I have. So, what I'll do is this uh, body shop. Oh, I don't know, actually. I do just feel a bit dirty. I just had a little uh, body shop in the middle. I might just lighten it. See what I mean? <laughs> right, bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. To be honest, I feel like I've messed up with the mascara. It feels like everyone's tested it. My lashes don't look great. Oh, there we go. I feel well scarier. Right, I'm gonna have to brush my hair and then I'll be back. Honestly, I think a bit of blood down here and I'm ready for Halloween. Honestly, I look like some sort of werewolf, I think. This is the finished result. You'll have to let me know how it looks. I've just kind of gone with the foundation and done what I normally would do. Got itchy nose. Uh, so yeah, and I've tidied my hair up a bit, just straightened it and it feels very fresh. I've put a little bit of oil in it as well because obviously, you know, I take the piss with my hair and it, it requires a little bit of TLC every so often. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But yeah, this is... Um, how it all turned out in the end anyway. So still a bit heavy for work, I think. So I might tone it down for work. If I have any on, I might just take it all off. This is it anyway. So all done. So yeah, I, I mean, it looks all right in the viewfinder. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. So thank you so much to Anna Louise off this collaboration again, the most gorgeous, gorgeous jewelry. I will link them below. Don't let any dickheads get you down, all right? You are amazing, okay? Absolutely fucking unreal. All right, never forget it. I love you all and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.